Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a ringtone for your iPhone using iTunes and you can use your Windows or Mac PC to do this. So first of all we need to open iTunes on our computer. And then when we're in iTunes we need to make sure that music is selected in the drop down list on the top left. Now we can search for our song and we can go into recently added artists, albums, songs, genres. So I'm going to select from artists and flow rider and the whistle song. So once we've selected our song that we want to use for our ringtone, we need to right click on the song listing, then select get info and then select options. And now we need to change the length of our song track to 30 seconds or less. And this is because Apple will only accept ringtones of 30 seconds or less. So to do this, we click on the start box and I'm going to start the, the ringtone from one minute. And then I'm going to stop 30 seconds after that, which is one minute 30. and then make sure both these boxes are ticked and then click OK to save. OK, now we need to create an AAC version of this file. Now, if you're using the old iTunes software, you can right click and select create AAC version. But with the uh, latest iTunes, we need to go into file on the top left hand side and then select convert and then create AAC version. And then that will create the AAC version just below the original. OK, so before we go any further, I'm going to convert the original back to the old length track, the original track so that we can use it as normal when we want to play it later on. So click on get info options and then untick these boxes so it's selected back to the original length of track and then click OK to save. Right now click on our, our shortened version and now what we need to do is we need to rename this AAC version of the file so we need to right click and then click on show in Windows Explorer. Now if, we, if you're using a Mac PC you need to click on show in Finder so if we click on now in Windows Explorer, we need to change the top track, which is our newly created AAC version from .m4a to .m4r. Now, if you can't see the extension .m4a in the title, then what you need to do is go into view at the top and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. If I untick it, it removes the extension. So if I go back, make sure this box is ticked and now you'll be able to see the extensions .m4a. So on the top track, you need to change that. So if we click into the, the file, and you may need to click once or twice to do this, and then change to .m4r. Right, and when you click outside, you'll be prompted with an error message. Are you sure you want to change it? And then just click yes. OK, now we've created our ringtone. So what we need to do now is transfer that back into iTunes so we can sync it. So if we just reduce the size of this window so we can have both iTunes and Explore window open at the same time. And if I just drag that over slightly. Now, if we go back to the iTunes window and if now we select in the, the top left drop, drop down and we select tones now if tones isn't showing in this menu we need to click edit menu and then select tones and then done and then select tones again and now if we go back to our windows explorer window we need to drag our newly created ringtone across hold and drag it across to the itunes window like so and now we can close our windows explorer window down so now we're ready to sync iTunes with our 
iPhone. So let me connect my iPhone 5 to my laptop. So we just plug the iPhone that we're using, and this can be an iPhone 5, 6 or 7, and we just plug it into our laptop and connect it like so. And when, after we've done that, you'll see an icon, an I, a little iPhone icon at the top here. So if we now click that icon, now we're in the sync screen. So now we need to click tones on the left hand side, like so. And now what we need to do is click sync on the bottom right hand side to sync the tones with our iPhone. So if you click sync, now the iTunes is going through the process of syncing with our iPhone. This will take a couple of minutes. After the iTunes has completed syncing with your iPhone, then we can check to see if the ringtone has transferred across. So if we go to settings and we go to sounds and then to the ringtone, and then we can see that the ringtone in my example, which was whistle, has transferred across and we can select that to play as our new ringtone. And that's it. Thank you for watching and if you like my video, please thumbs it up. Thank you.